just before we move on, I've gone ahead and I've added in the uh, the browser rules for the WebKit, the Mozilla, the Opera, and the Microsoft or Internet Explorer, whatever way you want to look at it, just to some of the uh, rules that we've added in recently. So it's no harm to go in and add those in uh, to your border radius, your box shadow. Uh, they're the kind of the three. Well, that you have your text shadow as well. That's something that you you need to add your your extra rules in for. Uh, they're kind of the only ones we'll be using throughout this anyways. So um, so if you want to go ahead and do those and uh, at least then you're covered for all. If you're not putting this brow this site live you need to worry about it but if you are uh, it's something that you should consider doing. So while we're in we may as well keep moving along. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add um, a header area to this article. So again, we're going to use our header tags, and that was the reason that we gave our previous header a class. This one we're not going to because it's just a standard header. So we have our opening and our closing header tags. So what I want to add inside of this header is another heading. But because we've used, as I mentioned earlier, we've used the H1 tag already, we can't use it again. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to add in a heading 2. And this is where you put whatever title you want to put in. Um, you can bypass the heading that we already gave it, the header one if you want, and use this one as your heading one. It doesn't make any difference where you put it on the page as long as you only use it once. So from this point on there's no limit to the amount of heading two or heading threes, heading fours, whatever you can use. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give it um, give it our second heading. So I'm just going to just call this one welcome. You can put whatever you want in there. It has to be descriptive too. It's given a certain amount of credibility by web, SEO and by search engines as well because it's a secondary heading. So what we want to do is we want to style this. So if we go to our style sheet and the style we want to give it really is it's just that it's going to be a header H2 is all it is. So we're going to define that rule so that it'll apply to all the header H2s. So again it's just header H2 and what we want the style to be for header H2 is we want it to be a particular colour. So I've added in uh, a rule for a color which is CF, 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 CF5, C3F and that's an orange color uh, and we've given it a line height of 1.2 which is 1.2M really if, if, if I'm honest. We could give it a pixel height if we want but I want the, uh, I'll leave it at 1.2 for now. Uh, the margin top, we've given a margin top of 0 uh, because I want to have it flush up against the up against the top. So if we save that and what we'll do is we'll go back here and we'll upload both the we'll just save our index.php as, as well. So we'll upload both of those to our server and this is the result we get. We have the orange text with a welcome. Now there's a certain amount of padding around uh, and I can show you that if, if we use the inspect element option here. We can look at the article and we can see that the green represents the 2% of padding that we added to it. So you can see that the heading 2, we've removed the padding from the top so it's flush up against the top uh, and it's thrown right up against the left hand side. So let's go ahead back in here and we, we won't add any content to our main content area yet. What we do is we'll go ahead and we'll add in our sidebar. So at least then we'll have the full structure of our website kind of sorted at this point. So at the end of the main content div, if we make a little bit of room and we want to add in uh, another div here and this one what we're going to do is it's another HTML one and it's going to be an aside. So we're going to close out that one as well. Now these type of things you can have plenty, you can have loads of different ones of them but this one I'm, uh, you know you can repeat the aside throughout, you're not limited to one of them. So for that reason I'm just going to give this a class as well and I'm going to call it sidebar. So we give that a class of sidebar and uh, I'll just make a bit of space here and we go and we create our rule for that. So we go into our CSS and we'll create a little bit of space. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've created our rule for our sidebar here, and it's a class, so we have the period preceding it. So I've given it a width of 25%, and I've given it a float left property. And that should be on its own line. And just to give you a reason why, uh, we've given our overall width of content of 70% and 25% adds up to 95% in total. 
but when you factor in our margins and our padding um it comes it all adds up to 100% so it's something that you're going to have to tweak around with but this is the one that I got that works for me uh and you also have to factor in as well that your border your borders are one pixel so they're going to add to your percentages as well so it's just going to be a matter of tweaking but you'll be pretty close and then you can just tweak it in the browser using the ins the inspect element property and you'll get it you'll get it to work pretty pretty good so as i said we have our margins uh 1.4% uh 0 0 and 2.7% and that's red from top so you have top right left and bottom uh, and then you have your padding, so we have 0.5% on top and 1% on left, uh, top and bottom and 1% left to right. Our background colour, the same as our main content area, is white. A border radius of 5 pixels, the same as everywhere else. These four are just our conditional rules for other browsers. Then we have a box shadow again, which is the same as the one for our content area. And again, we have our conditional rules for our other browsers. And then we have our border which is the one pixel solid, the same as we did for the other one, it's right at the very edge of the browser. And again, I've given this a temporary height so that it'll give us an idea of what it actually looks like. So if we save that, and again, we go back and we save our index.php and we put both of our files up again to the, uh, to the server. And if we refresh that now, we have our right content here, or our sidebar. And if we zoom in on it, you'll see now the little black border. It's just it's ever so slightly subtle, but it just I think it lifts it off the page just a little bit. And we'll be adding more content to this as we go along.